Nursing, fire away. Hi, Nursing. How's it going? How are you going? How's your uh, ankle feeling? I'm good. Um, I wanted to make sure I was able to, to play a whole game without getting any setbacks, and I was able to do that, so I was really happy with going in the game, um, you know, kicking relatively well, and then waking up Monday still feeling feeling good and ready for a good week of practice. Is Dave Stokes just something while you were out that you, know, you don't want to see anyone doing your job? Matt, did a, Matt Wright did a nice job, um, but how tough was it seeing him hit the 59-yarder, and then what was it like to a week later get an opportunity to sort of get that record? Yeah, it's funny. Um, after the game, Tommy told Matt, you know, you should keep that ball that you made the 59-yard field goal with, get it painted, Chiefs record. Um, and then Matt said, funny enough to him, he said, oh, I'm not going to get that because Bucker's going to break it the, the next week. So kind of came true, um, and I was able to break that record. But it is funny. You know, a lot of guys were saying stuff to me about um, Matthew breaking the record and basically, yeah, his second game here. So um, as a kicker, you can only do um, – as best you can with the opportunities you're given, right? You know, so, oh, Matthew Wright broke the record. I can't force Tobe or Coach Reed to put me out there for a longer field goal. That's just kind of what the, the game provided provided me. And Tommy and James did a great job, and I was able to go hit it. You turned around right after the kick. Yeah. Not, so you knew. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I do that a lot of times. Um, I think the, the Chargers game in 2020, I, I may have done that. I don't know if that's something from – Soccer, you know, I was a defender, but I'd, I'd go up and make, score a header on a corner kick or something, and then you just run away to the sideline, your teammates. So maybe that kind of carried over a little bit, but that's I, I don't do that on purpose. It just kind of kind of happens. I know it's going to go through, and I just want to do something, and yeah, it just kind of happens. Which one of those three against the Chargers? All three. <laughs> uh, the last one, I'd say. Yeah, last one. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've been kicking for a little bit in practice, but hadn't kicked in a game for a while. Any doubts going into a game? Uh, about your ability to make a long one like that after an injury? The concern wasn't the distance. Like, I felt like I was hitting the ball far enough. It's just making sure I can repeat that every single kick. Because when you do kind of have an injury, it might just be completely mental. You're kind of thinking about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the only concern, if there was one, was just the consistency of being able to, to do that for a whole game. Dave Phil was, was mentioning to us um, while you were rehabbing that it was a matter of getting the swelling down. He was, he was describing it as it was, it was pretty swollen. At what point during the four weeks you were out did, did it start going down? Uh, I'd say the swelling was was pretty low going into the, uh, the, the Tampa week maybe. The Tampa week swelling was down. I practiced I think maybe going into the, maybe it's Tampa or the, the Monday night Raiders. It was around there, the swelling was down. It was just, can I feel good kicking for a whole practice? Because um, you got to feel good for a whole practice before you can go in for, for the whole game. So swelling went down, then I was able to ramp up the kicking and just kind of get the technique going. Well, that's another good point. You know, when you haven't kicked for three, four weeks and you come back and you're doing your full, full routine and everything, you kind of got to figure out the technique. So going into this game, I felt good with the technique being um, repetitive. And uh, yeah, I felt good. But yeah, I think like Tobe said, that swelling was just need to get that down before I can go out there and, and do my thing. How frustrating was that period, all those missed times? I don't, I don't think you've missed this much time in your career, have you? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you know, it was my first time missing any games due to an injury. Uh, it was a good learning experience for me. and. You know, I just gotta bounce back and finish this rest of the rest of the season strong. I know that you. Uh, I think it was before that Tampa game that you went out there and tried to practice with the, the one leg kicks, uh, one step kicks rather. Right, right, right. Um, and I know Tope says you're probably better with one step than most kickers are with their usual step. Was there any thought at that point that hey, maybe you could go, but just not with your regular routine, or was it very important when you came back that you could go be a full go? That was definitely a thought. Can I come back and just do the one steps? But you know, I've kicked my whole career doing the two steps. That's what I felt confident going into a game where we needed to make big kicks. I wanted to go out there and do that technique that I've been practicing. You know, my, my whole career. I think it was it was a cool thing to do in the in the Arizona game, but um, just rehabbing it, getting it back, doing the one steps. I just didn't feel I was um, where I needed to be to to play in a game as far as accuracy and consistency, not the power because. Like Arizona, I, w I was able to make longer kicks, but just to be able to be repetitive doing that and consistent, I just wanted to come back with my full steps. Was that the adrenaline you were working on in the Arizona game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That was adrenaline pushing through and fight or flight, right? Because looking at you in the locker room afterwards, I mean, you were really 
hobbling around. I mean, so you don't feel like you could do that um, any time they needed you on a one step thing, if that makes any sense? If I was in a situation like I was in that Arizona game where an injury happened, I'd obviously push through who else is going to go out there. Um, well, we do have Justin, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you got to go finish the game, right? Uh, but I felt like if I was to come back week two, week three, this would just be something I'd be doing the rest of the year, one steps, no kickoffs, and I just didn't think that was the best thing for, for the team and for the, for the rest of the year. Now that you uh, added four yards on your personal record, what, what's next on the horizon? I mean, just making the next kick, but I'd, I'd love to, to keep getting some longer kicking opportunities and, and hopefully break the NFL record. You were only two yards away from it previously. The 60 seems to be special for a kicker. Just how exciting is that for you to have that now on your resume? Yeah, super exciting. I mean, I was going through seeing all the other kickers that have made the 60 pluses. A lot of guys have made 62, 63. I think Matt Prater is the only one that's done 64 and then Tucker 66. Um, Brandon McManus said this a while ago, I guess in an interview, but he's, he's advocating for, uh, in, the, in the stats to have another column for 60 plus, right? Because those are just getting so more common. There's a big difference between a 51 yard field goal and a 61 yard field goal, right? So um, that, it's a special number and uh, the kicking game is evolving. You're seeing more and more kicks of 60 plus yards, um, which is a great thing. And I think all the, the offensive coaches are really happy about it. You're pretty yeah. tight with Justin. Have you heard from him? When you, when you, did you hear from him after you did, know that 62 yarder? No, no. He, he texted me after the playoff game uh, against the Bills last year, which I, I really appreciated. But I'm, he's, he's locked in on the season. When he texted me, he was probably watching on TV. Now he's, he's locked in on the season. Harrison, yeah. when you go to a away game now, are you looking at the field different after what happened in Arizona? Yeah, definitely. I, I'm not going to say you can't get injured on field goals, but it's a lot more difficult on field goals because you're coming in a lot more controlled kickoffs. A lot of times you're coming in more aggressive, right? So um, y'all would have seen in this, this past game, um, I was only doing a five-yard approach, which is a lot more reserved. I'm not coming in with as much force, and I think that's just a, a smarter thing for me to do moving forward. You just take more risks when you come in more aggressive. I mean, a, a running back or a receiver doing more aggressive cuts, you know, it's uh, more chance for, for injury there. But a lot of times it's not necessary for me to hit the ball through the uprights on a kickoff. If it's five deep, that'll be a touchback. But it's a good learning moment. You, that's my competition as a kicker is the weather and the field, and that's what i got to master. A couple more, guys. Um, you know, we know kickers change all, all the time. How much do you feel Matt Wright deserves a starting gig in this league? Yeah, he did a great job, I thought. Um, you know, the last the two games that he was here and, you know, I think he did a great job with the, the Jaguars and he's developing. He's asking all the questions he can, but I've, I've been impressed with him as a kicker and I think he does a, a really nice job. Nick Harrison, when you get ready to make a kick of that distance, what are the factors that are going into it that you have to take into account to be able to connect on that? Yeah, so the longer the kick is, the longer it's going to take for the ball to get through the upright. So wind becomes more of a factor. I know um, on the network broadcast, they mentioned that the wind was in my face. Arrowheads, I don't know, it's probably like most stadiums where wherever the, the major flags are blowing on the top of the stadium, it's usually the opposite of that for the kickers inside. So at Arrowhead, it was coming in, I don't know, from the north. But then when I was on the field, it was actually going towards those uprights when I was kicking. So I knew the wind was at my back, maybe a tad right to left, uh, tried to start it a little right. and. You want to make sure it gets there, right? So I don't know if that's adrenaline or I subconsciously lower it. But I, for that kick, I didn't do anything on purpose. I, it did did come out lower with a lot of power. But I think that's just, you know, when you've been kicking for a long time, your body will just naturally take over and you'll do what you need to do to make the kick. Great. Thanks, Harrison. Thank, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you.